Hey guys, Melo Modesty here for the first weekly poll list of 2013. As you can see, my cubby hole where I put all of my comics of the year is now empty. I've boxed all of those up. And for the first week I got a pretty good lineup. The bottom on the bottom of the list is Teen Titans 15 Death of a Family. To be honest with you, I didn't even read this. I'm not digging a lot of the Death of the Family tie-ins, and I'm really not a Teen Titan fan, so I really can't say anything about this. The art is very nice, though. I can say that. So just because it's at the bottom of my list, don't let that discourage you, but I just didn't really feel like reading it. Next up is Justice League Dark number 15 by Jeff Lemire. I've been wanting to read this series for a while, and I hear this is the uh, start of a new story arc. And there was a lot in this that I did not quite understand. I'm not the biggest fan of the artwork. And I feel like Constantine's uh, dialogue doesn't really fit him as a character. Um, but it was a good issue. I'll definitely check out more. There was a pretty awesome magic battle in it. And some crazy stuff happened at the end. I'll definitely pick up the next issue. But yeah. Not digging the artwork and not digging Constantine's dialogue. I feel like it does not fit him well at all. Next up is Jonathan Hickman's New Avengers number one, the companion piece to Avengers. And this was very good. Um, it mainly focuses on Black Panther, while the regular Avengers is very huge and starts off pretty epic. This is a more personal story. It starts with um, basically the creation of the Avengers Illuminati who basically secretly run the world which has Doctor Strange, Namor, um, Mr. Fantastic, Tony Stark, and it looks like a few more people but I don't know them. And basically Black Panther was the only one who's like, no, it's not a good idea to do this. And then you get this great, great, great panel. It's a very, very cool existential look at Mr. Fantastic, where basically he talks about everything dies, I've come to terms with this, even me. It's inevitable, and I accept it. And then you go to Black Panther's village, where this group of people find this thing that opens up this star map, and then this rhino comes through a teleporter, a, like, wormhole teleporter thing. And there's this really cool way how it shows Black Panther goes through it from the regular to here. And I don't really know if he jumps into the future or what. It could either be an alternate reality or the future or... Yeah, I'm just really not sure what he goes into, but he meets these people who basically say we are going to destroy the world. He gets in a pretty awesome battle. You don't really know what's going on, but you're not really supposed to. You just know that something big is happening. And Black Panther has these cool powers. I've never read a Black Panther comic book, but this is pretty, pretty badass, I must admit. The evil girl in it is quite a bitch, and she gets hit. And it's pretty awesome. And then, basically, it ends with the Black Panther joining the new Avengers Illuminati. And he basically says that he fears everything about it. He fears the Thinkers, he fears the Summoners, the Midnight, Midnight Kings, and he even says the Devil himself is on it. So, I don't know, this is a very interesting first issue. I am definitely excited to see where this series goes. Can't wait for the second issue. I believe this is bi-weekly, so I probably won't have to wait super long for a new issue. And it's really interesting. I would definitely suggest picking this up. But unlike FF and Fantastic Four, where you have to read both of them, you do not have to read Avengers and New Avengers. They just simply have some thematic uh, connections. And they are good. They're both... They both are improved by reading each other. However, it's not necessary. Next up is Godzilla The Half-Century War number four. This has been delayed for quite a while.
And this is a really, really great book. There's some awesome monster fights. This is probably the best issue of the Half Century War yet. I'm sorry, guys. Um, my phone is getting a massive amount of text messages. So, anyways, there's some great fights between Robot Godzilla, Godzilla, and a third Godzilla who has these crystals. Really, really cool fights. And then the evil human guy finally gets what's coming to him. Um, the main character beats the crap out of him. And Godzilla and the main character sort of form an alliance at the end, which is pretty cool. Good issue. Definitely check it out. I love Godzilla, as I'm sure you know if you watch my videos. Then, next up, Daredevil End of Days number 4. This is a... This is one of the best issues yet. I still think I prefer the first one, but this is very, very interesting. Probably the darkest issue yet. There's some pretty fucked up stuff that happens. Um, I don't really want to spoil this for you. So... I will be a little more cautious on which panels I show you. Um, I will say Bullseye is in this, and something very messed up happens there, and then another character is in this who I do not want to ruin who that is, but um, it finally seems like we're going to figure out what Mapone means, and... I am very excited to figure that out. Great series, always keeps me on the edge of my seat. But very dark, very depressing. But check it out. And then, the pick of the week. Although this or Daredevil End of Days, I could safely say is the pick of the week. I would say like this a little bit more. It is the final issue of Harvest. But I don't know if there's going to be a second series because it is sort of left open-ended. There's some really, really cool stuff. Uh... The main character, Ben, I believe his name is, he gets shot and he basically fixes the wound himself. There's a crazy meeting between Ben and, um, what's his name? The bad guy, God, I forget what his name is, but Ben is basically a total badass in this book. There's some very cool stuff in it, and then it ends on... Sort of a cliffhanger. I mean, they could end it here. I guess you'd say it's more of an ambiguous ending. But definitely a great end to this series. I really loved this series, and I might even pick it up in trade. It was honestly that good. If you guys weren't reading Harvest, definitely pick it up in trade. It is a great read, and I just really loved it a lot. So check it out. Anyways, guys... Picked up quite a few books this week. One, two, three, four, five, six. Took some stuff off my pull list, put some stuff on, and yeah, I am just excited to see where this year goes. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later, and Happy New Year.